Hey guys, what's up? It's Mokazunki. So I did achieve my max cape. I am going to have, well, the second half of this video will be kind of a clip of um, what happened during the max cape. I had a small little party, just everyone that was in my friend's chat at the time was all invited to come and a couple of people on my friends list as well. And yeah, I got the max cape, so I'm pretty happy about that. Got 99 fishing yesterday, which was my last skill. And so I'm now 2480 total, which means that the next goal is now the completionist cape because we're not stopping at the Max Cape, as I have said. I think in the last couple episodes of the Road to Max Cape videos, I did say that my goal was Completionist Cape, not Max Cape. So because of that, we're in the top of the Varrock Museum. I've never been up here before. I've never investigated this cape before. And I know this is a little bit uh, traditionalistic and all, and maybe a little unimaginative, but I'm just going to do this for the first video. Um, just kind of see the little list of everything I have for the Completionist Cape. Um, I have done a few things. Uh, the by far the biggest, the biggest things that I still need to do are the dungeoneering and, of course, the livid farm, which are going to be pretty painful. But um, I have a lot of the little, the little comp cape requirements as well. Um, I have done all the quests, so that's not something I have to worry about, and also all the tasks. So those two things are out of the way already. But anyway, here we go. Here's the little list here. I really should be in resizable right now, but uh, I hate resizable. So. I guess this is what it starts here. Um, I need 120 Dungeoneering. It's just I need to have completed all tasks, but I have completed all tasks, so I'm not really sure what that's all about. Um, unlock spell. The Bones to Peaches thing, that's going to be painful because I heard the Mage Training Arena is just... It's just awful. So uh, we'll see how that goes. And then, of course, all the Livid Farm spells. I'm going to have to unlock all those. Oh my goodness. That's like a full 99 worth of Livid Farm there. That's pretty awful. Um, full kudos to the Varrock Museum. Um, I was at 183 kudos, which was the max for a while, but now what you need to do is you need to talk to um, one of the retired random event guys and then kill the King Black Dragon or something like that. That's what I've heard, and you can get an extra 15 kudos for that. So that should take like 10 minutes, no problem at all. Um, three more pieces of music. Um, the only pieces of music I need left all come from Dungeoneering. Um, I believe there's a boss that you unlock at 107 Dungeoneering, and then one you unlock at like 113 Dungeoneering. Um, and the Hope Devourer, this track, for some reason, I've killed the Hope Devourer like five times, and that track is not unlocked, so not really sure what that's all about. But yeah, the three pieces of music that I need are all from Dungeoneering. Um, buried all the Goblin Priests, I'm sure that won't be too hard. I must have laid Clarence the Mage to rest. Um, that, I've, that requirement is kind of annoying, but it won't take too long. You must have completed all the unabridged from an Sagas to wear this cape. Now that's one thing that I was a bit confused about uh, with the Fermentic Sagas, because I went and asked the guy if I could start the Fermentic Sagas, and he said like you need to find some item. And I looked up on the RuneScape wiki, and it says like you need to find a an item in the frozen floors of Dungeoneering, and it's like a bear pelt or something like that. And today I went through the frozen floors all a couple of times, looking all around, and I never found that bear pelt. So I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I need to find an item in the frozen floors of Dungeoneering to start the Fermentic Sagas, and I tried. Uh, I followed the instructions on the wiki, and it just didn't work out. So if anyone knows how to start the Fermentic Sagas, if you could let me know, that would be very helpful. Uh, I have to hunt the Thalassus ten times. Um, I have to do the reward from Klaus, so I have to like kill that little boss from Carmenelian Rising over again, which is no problem. Uh, I have to complete all the What's Mine Is Yours Dork tasks. Uh, I really should have done that because uh, the amulet that you get from completing all the tasks after the What's Mine Is Yours quest gives you a whole bunch of either mining or smithing XP, and that would have been really useful when I was training mining or smithing, but I was an idiot and uh, did not do the tasks. I kind of forgot about them. And then I need to get the enhanced Yaktwe stick um, by catching a thousand charm sprites. So those are all the things that I need for completion escape. Um, I will have a better list in the next episode. I won't be coming up to the top of the museum. I'll have like a little uh, list on a website that I'm using that is much better than this. Um, and we can just see exactly what I need from there. But uh, until the next episode, I'm mostly just going to work on Dungeoneering, and I might do a couple of these little tasks, like the Kudos and the Hunting and the Losses, you know, tasks like that that don't take too long. I could do a couple of those. But anyway, uh, I'm going to show the clip of me getting the Max Cape now, so this is mostly just an introductory episode to the Road to Completionist Cape, and I hope you guys are excited for the series, as am I. Lots of Dungeoneering to come. I need uh, 81 mil Dungeoneering XP, but we'll get that done somehow. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, moving on to the Max Cape. So here was my small party of me getting the Max Cape. Uh, as I said, just a few people that were online on my friends list and in the friends chat came. 
Um, if you did want to come to the party and you weren't able to, I'm sorry. Uh, the way I, I see it, um, there's no way that everyone that would like to come could at the same time because certain people just aren't online at certain times. So it would be pretty much impossible to fit everyone in. So I just decided to go ahead and get it. Also, I was getting kind of, I was feeling a bit antsy and ready to get the max cape, so I just decided, hey, let's get it. So I just invited everyone, and we did. Um, so I got that 99 fishing, and um, the max cape, like, the last couple weeks just seemed to blur by very fast. Um, it seems like it took hardly any time to actually get the max cape. I guess I have been working on the, this series for about a year now, but at the same time, it did seem to go by very, very fast. Uh, and I'm very glad that I'm, it's out of the way now, and I get to move on to the next stage, the completion escape, which uh, should be fun as well in its own right. But anyways, here's just a couple clips. Uh, this is the moat, of course. Um, unfortunately, my max cape, I uh, used a dragon keepsake key on it, so um, I can wear it in dungeoneering. And so unfortunately, I, I can't do the emote with it anymore because it doesn't recognize as you wearing a cape if it's keepsaked. But anyways, yeah, the emote looks cool, and I was just fiddling with the colors a little bit. That's one that I came up with. Um, obviously, I changed it a little bit now, and I'm pretty happy with how it looks and all. Uh, again, can't wait for the Completionist Cape. I think the Completionist Cape looks way better, but of course, it is an accomplishment. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and farewell.